Hi there. Welcome to the Lynn vlog. I am on the couch now. So, about 25-ish minutes ago, I got a large amount of Twitter notifications, and usually that means one of two things. Either somebody forgot to tag me in a discussion, in which case, why, how could you? It's literally just click two buttons, please. Or there's a new Lin alt. Uh, spoilers, uh, there, there's, there's a new Lin alt. Anyways, I figured since previously on this channel, I was the Lin guy for the longest time. And, uh, oh God, is it? Oh, it's been a while since I've last uploaded anything. Um, I figured I'd owe you guys a video about this. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at the new Lin Alt on the Flame Tribe banner. I have seen the trailer. I have seen the art already. Um, it's good. But uh, I, I just wanted to give you my totally, utterly unfiltered thoughts. So I'll, I'll put the art up on screen so that you can see it as I'm looking at it. And, oh, oh, baby, baby, come on. If you get that reference, you are my favorite person. First off, whoa. Second off, as 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 you can see, um, I know BST is very important in in Fire Emblem Heroes, and 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 uh, right here we have some some BST right here, um, and that stands for that. Kaboon has zero chill, and if you watch my video where I did science about BST. Um, Kaboon has the highest BST, <laughs> and it's good to see he's keeping that trend up. Um, if I was to add this to the graph, it would definitely continue the trend and my conclusions to that video, um, which, if you're familiar with the conclusions to that video, it's that BST is increasing, um, and, and there's some other things. Uh, you should watch that video because I put a lot of work into it. Anyways, what I do love about this art is that, of course, it is Lin A, but I really like the color contrast specifically. You have the blue, the green, the lantern, the reds. It's just awesome composition. The outfit is, for lack of a better word, hot, even though it's a flame-themed banner. Ha ha, very funny. But what I do find interesting, though, is that the other alternate costume Lin got that I have yet to talk about on the channel was the ninja duo with Florina, which I, I, I don't really have any strong opinions about. I have strong opinions about Lin and Florina as a support, um, but uh, I, I don't need to go into that today. Uh, I'll just say this support, this, uh, this, this alt is fine, but... Ultimately, I think it's weird that this ninja alt happened and this flame tribe alt happened. So we have two Lin alternate costumes and heroes that are based on uh, medieval Japan, yet Lin being Sakaian is implicitly Mongolian. So, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I guess the other thing that's important is uh, to look at her skills and... Um, I'm not reading all of that text, uh, so I'm I'm happy she's really good, or 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 kind of disappointed. Um, somebody who read the text, uh, tell me which I am. Probably still still worse than Fallen Edelgard, because Heroes was a mistake. Uh, top gear top tip from Captain Zerk: uh, Just collect JPEGs of your favorite Fire Emblem girl. And don't worry about the arena grind. Your life will improve tenfold. So, yeah, overall thoughts on the new Lin. This is very good. I like her. It's excellent. Lots of lots of things going on. Very pretty. Very powerful. You know the rest. I don't know. Am I still the Lin guy? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this will be the first of two Lin vlogs on the channel. There, there is a second Lin vlog coming, and it, it, it's a banger, I'll be honest. Um, 
So look forward to that. It's already filmed. I just am regretting doing a long scripted segment on the back end, and I might just put the unscripted segment in and just use that. So we'll see. Anyways, yeah, first of two Lin vlogs. We probably will not make a trilogy, but since I'm here on the couch talking about Lin, I guess you could call this the return of the king.